My name is Chris Semsarian. I'm a cardiologist and I'm a researcher fascinated by genetic heart diseases or heart disease in young people. Genomics and clinical medicine go hand in hand and I think genomics has added a, a real new dimension to my clinical practice because it's allowed me to be more precise in diagnosis of disease. You know, when we look at the phenotype of a patient, we're looking at the effects of the gene problem. But by doing genomic testing, you're finding the cause of disease. And once you know the cause of disease in an individual, you can use that information in family members. So most genetic heart conditions are inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion, which means there's a one in two chance if I had the disease for my children to have the same disease. So we look after not only patients but families and genetic diagnosis allows us to pinpoint which family relatives actually have an underlying genetic problem. The corollary of that is that the ones that don't carry the gene mutation, we can tell them that they're not going to develop disease and they can be freed from lifelong clinical surveillance. There's also benefits in some diseases in terms of how to treat the patient and the prognosis of the patient. So really, it spans diagnosis, therapeutic options and prognosis. I think overall, patients really have responded positively to the next generation sequencing and the various genetic testing approaches, including exomes and genomes. I think patients like information, generally speaking. They uh, appreciate the fact that we're not only just doing an ECG and an ultrasound of the heart, we're actually going one step further to try and find the cause of disease. I think also most patients are very happy to contribute to research. I think our success rate in terms of consenting families for research is about 99.9% .9 because everyone wants to help in our community in understanding the genetic causes of heart disease. Clinical challenges of genomic testing is sometimes you get a genetic result which may be heart related but doesn't necessarily fit with the phenotype, doesn't fit with the clinical picture and trying to understand what that means is always a challenge. Uh, we've developed a new term in, in genetics and clinical phenotyping called overlap syndromes where within the one family you might have quite a few different presentations clinically of disease. One might have a bit of enlargement or dilatation, one might have a bit of hypertrophy of the myocardium, one might have just electrical problems of the heart and they're all in the same family with the same genetic mutation. So in, in me, if I did a genetic a whole genome or a whole exome in me, there'll be many variants which we could classify as possibly disease causing, even though I'm completely asymptomatic. And so understanding what are the variants are, which variants are innocent bystanders and which variants are actually the cause of disease is in fact the biggest challenge of genomic testing at the moment. You may end up doing more harm in a patient than good if you do a genetic test without the appropriate counselling, without the appropriate expectations of the patients and without the appropriate interpretation of the genetic changes. So you need expertise from a number of people, not just cardiologists or other specialists, but geneticists, specialised cardiac genetic counsellors. We have links to forensic pathology, patient support groups, etc., etc., all united to try and you know, roll in genetic testing and genomics as effectively as possible into clinical practice. I think genomics gives us an amazing opportunity to go so much deeper into our understanding of human disease generally and in cardiovascular disease.